Log into Jenkins using Google. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.414.3. Now, before we do our integration with Google, let's take a look at the plugin that we need to install. If you go over to plugins.jenkins.io, you'll search for a plugin called Google Login. Now, I've already installed this plugin on my controller. Let's verify that installation. We'll go back to Dashboard, Manage Jenkins, Plugins, and under Installed Plugins, let's search for Google and what we'll find is that I've got Google Login Plugin already installed. Now let's go ahead and go back over to our documentation. We'll see that this is a Jenkins plugin that lets you log into Jenkins with your Google account. Let's go over to the README to understand how we need to set this up. So in the README, what we need to do is we must first obtain OAuth 2.0 credentials from the Google Developers Console. So they give us the instructions here we need to follow. We'll first log into the Google Developer Console, we'll create a new project, and then under APIs and Services, we'll create credentials and create an OAuth client ID. We'll specify a web application, and then we're going to specify a URL. Now this URL is going to be our base of our controller along with security realm slash finish login. Once we create that, then we'll have a client ID and a client secret that we'll be able to use in our controller to tie the two things together. So let's go ahead and go over to the Google Developer Console. I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to go ahead and call my project Jenkins dash OAuth. I'll leave it in the normal organization and click on create. Let's go ahead and select that project and let's follow the rest of the instructions. Again, once we've created the new project under APIs and services credentials, we'll create credentials. So let's go to API and services, credentials. Now at the top, let's go ahead and click on create credentials and we'll select OAuth client ID. Now, before we can actually do that, we first must configure our consent screen. So we'll go ahead and click on that. We'll say this is only internal to our organization. Let's go ahead and give it an app name. It's gonna be the name of my controller right now. So I'll just say it's J11. For my user support email, I will select one that is already set up for me. I'll skip the app logo and the app domain, and then I will set up a developer contact information and then click on save and continue. So now that I have my consent screen created, now I can go ahead and set up my scopes. Now in this case, I don't need to set up any scopes. So we can click on save and continue. And then there's our summary for our consent screen. So let's go back over to credentials. Let's create credentials and select OAuth client ID. Now in this case, I'm going to select web application that maps back to our documentation. Application type should be web application. The authorized redirect URL should contain the URL. So let me go ahead and copy the end part of this. We'll go back over here. I'm gonna go ahead and change my name to J11 to match what my controller is. And then under authorized redirect URIs, I'm going to add a URI. I'm gonna paste in the ending part of the URL. Then let's go back over to our controller and let's go ahead and copy that URL and let's paste it in at the front of the Security Realm finished login. Let's go ahead and clean this up so we only have one slash. So what we have is our base URL for our controller, slash Security Realm, slash Finish Login. Let's go ahead and click on Create. Now once we create that, what we're going to see is a value for our client ID and our client secret. Copy both of these values because we're gonna need them again in just a few moments. Once you've copied those values, go ahead and click on OK. Now at this point, we're ready to go ahead and configure our controller to integrate with Google. So let's go back over to our dashboard. We'll click on Manage Jenkins, click on Security. We're going to change the value for our security realm from Jenkins' own user database to Login with Google. So we'll select that. In this case, we actually have four fields, but we only need two of them. We need the client ID and the client secret. We'll paste in our client ID, and we'll go ahead and paste in our client secret. Now optionally, we could set a Google Apps domain but in my case right now, I'm just going to ignore that. I'm also going to ignore the use root URL from request. So in my case, I'm just setting the client ID and the client secret. Let's go ahead and click on save. Now you'll notice right now I'm logged in as admin. Just because I clicked on save inside of security did not automatically log me out of admin and get me set up to log in with my user ID. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and log out. We're now successfully logged out. Let's go ahead and click on dashboard and watch what happens. As we click dashboard, it says choose an account to continue to J11. Well, J11 was what I set up within Google. I'll go ahead and select my account. And from that point, I'm redirected back into my controller. Notice in the upper right hand corner, my full name is there. And if I take a look at the configuration, not only do I have my full name at the top, but I also have my email address automatically filled in for me 
by that integration with Google. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.